This is Steve Ridgell, and one of the things that strikes me often is how certain some people in culture are about what's right, and how if you believe something different, how wrong you are. And especially when they look at older people, it's like, how could you possibly believe? How can you not know this is true? How can you be against this? And how can you think this is, is wrong? Well, part of that's because we say, well, here's what we believe about the Bible. And then you hear the same, but you hear those same arguments from church. How, how, can, how could you used to think that? And we've got to discern what the Bible says. And in the community of faith, we now see it this And this is right. And the way you used to believe is wrong. And so what you thought was wrong is right. And sometimes what you thought was right is now wrong. And you just don't understand. And you know, I'm always a little amazed by that. And I, I'm going to tell you why. Now, I want to be real clear here. I'm not picking on anything in particular at this point. It's just here's what you need to remember about things. The reason we believe something's wrong is because when we were your age, we were taught they were wrong. Y yes, but y'all were didn't know and you didn't understand. And well, uh, maybe you are the smartest generation that's ever lived, and maybe you know more than anybody that has ever lived. But probably not. Every young, every generation when they kind of come of age thinks they're smarter than everybody else. Till you get older and realize, nah, you're really not. But the other thing about that that I think is really pretty fascinating is, is no, you, they were wrong, and now we're going to tell you what's right. And, you know, when you say that, it makes me often think in 50 years from now, when you're 80, you're going to be amazed that the things you have taught people that are wrong today, you may live in a culture that says, how can you believe that's wrong? You're, no, 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 that's okay. I don't know what the new issue will be. Maybe in 20 years from now or 40 years from now, culture will say, hey, you can have three or four mates in your marriage and that's okay. No, that's wrong. You only have one mate. No, you're wrong. And, but, or maybe it will be euthanasia. Maybe in 40 years they'll say, you know what? Your parents are old and a drag on society and they're not beneficial. They're not helpful, so it's okay to ease them into death. No, that's wrong. You need to value life. How can you believe that? Because, because see, things change. And even more confusing sometimes, you'll be in a culture that says, of course this is right. We have it figured out. And you'll fly across the ocean or go somewhere different. And somebody will say, no, 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 that's not right. And you'll realize that different cultures sometimes have different, boy, wouldn't it be nice if there was just something that said, this is wrong, and here it is clear. And you can accept it or you can reject it. And you can say it doesn't matter or you can say it does matter, but here is truth. And you see, for those of us that are Christians, we kind of found that. We believe God's real. We believe Jesus is truth. We believe the scripture is true. And I know you can find lots of people who say, "Let me, you don't understand. When it says this, it doesn't mean what you think it does. It means... And it may change, and in 40 years it may mean something different. And across the ocean it may mean, okay, that's not a standard of truth. I mean, at some point you've got to decide, I'm the arbiter of truth. Whatever I say is true, is true. Or you have to say, whatever the culture I live in, whatever it says is true, is true. Knowing that may change, and you may be confused, and someday you may actually get mixed up and not realize what you thought was wrong is right and what you thought was right is wrong. Or you find something that you say, you know what, I can read this and I'm going to say this is my truth and that's where I'm going to stake my life and my conviction. And so for most of us Christians, that truth is found in Scripture and in Jesus and in God.